Millions of Americans suffer from food allergies. But you know, for many parents, oftentimes you don't realize that your son or daughter is allergic until they're exposed to a certain kind of food. And that's exactly what happened to father of two, Jason Lowinger, after he learned his son Zach was allergic to tree nuts. Now he and his wife can't leave the house without an EpiPen. The medical device engineer wanted to make sure the EpiPen was safe and secure out of his toddler's reach. It's what he did after that that makes him a Minnesotan to meet. Like many Minnesotans, the Lowinger family spends their summers up at the family cabin. I was up there having some cashews and using the classic, uh, what I call the cabin napkin, wiping, you know, the, the, uh, wiping it on my shirt. But an afternoon snack at the lake turned into quite the scare for this father of two, Jason Lowinger. We were wrestling around, having a really good time. When he, when he got done, he's giggling. He looks up at me, and his face is full of welts. And I was, I was like... Uh-oh, this is not good. Got him the Benadryl, and uh, he was fine after that. This is what Jason's son, Zach, looked like after his allergic reaction to those cashews. After the doctor's visit, he learned he and his wife would need to have an EpiPen on standby. Sure enough, the doctor's like, yeah, definitely has allergies. Uh, you will need an EpiPen. But the toddler got his hands on the replica pen during the doctor's visit. Right then, Jason knew he needed a solution. Zach had saw that, and it's kind of a colorful trainer. Mm -hmm. So he handed it over to Zach because he wanted it. He was like, oh, that, that, that. And I uh, handed it over to him. Zach grabs it. First thing he does is bites off the blue safety cap, spits it out, and now he's running around with this, you know, what would be a live EpiPen. The full-time you know, medical device engineer with more than a decade of experience decided to do something about it. I could not find anything that would be uh, robust, strong, and, and waterproof and, and kind of kid-proof at the same time. So with a 3D printer at his home, this dad got to work. That's where the idea of the uh, push down and churn cap came from. According to the FDA, there are more than 30,000 emergency visits every year as a result of allergic reactions to food. 150 of those are deadly. Lowinger wanted to make something that made carrying the EpiPen easy for parents. In F cases, uh, the first part of it is um, epinephrine, and then K says in protecting uh, the EpiPen. Jason is hoping NEF case will be helpful for parents just like him. So it took Jason about a year from start to finish to design and launch the product. So we have some in here in studio. And I can tell you that his son, Zach, was trying to open this and with the EpiPen inside. Couldn't do it. But it's very simple. It's just like any prescriptions that you have sure. in your home. It's the similar style of case. And it can hold two of those EpiPens inside. I think it's amazing that, you know, if this were 10 years ago, you had an idea like that, it would take so much longer to actually go through that manufacturing. And execute mm -hmm. it. But he just, you know, get the 3D printer, mm -hmm. give it a few tries. It I'm does sure help that he is right, right. Yeah. an engineer, so he, he does this for a living, but right. this is something yeah. he did separate from his job, and he's hoping that it catches on. Just launched a month ago. Wow. 15 bucks? 15 bucks. Mm -hmm. You can get it and those EpiPens are very expensive, so yeah. I know par parents who own those w would appreciate it. I'm sure yeah. he's not the first parent that has wanted something like this, yeah. and now we have it. Mm -hmm. Allie, thank you.